Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to Congregation Beth Israel in Houston, Texas. We are glad that you can join us this Shabbat. Shabbat is our day of rest and joy. It allows us to create a separation from all that may have occurred during the week. May our prayers, words, and songs help to elevate your soul and bring you comfort, strength, and peace this day. Please enjoy our service. Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to Congress. Shabbat Shalom. Good Shabbos to each of you. It's delightful to welcome you into the sanctuary and thank you for wearing your mask over your mouth and nose during services while we read and sing together. And welcome to all those who continue to live stream from home. We're always very happy to welcome you into the sanctuary this way too. As our protocols change, we'll continue to share with the congregation how we can come together with or without masks. For the time being, we're just so happy to be together. And as we begin our worship service this Friday night, this Arab Shabbat, 
we appreciate in the world around us, there is a little calm that is settling in, not completely, but we're growing more accustomed to it again and how grateful we are. And so in our prayers this night, even as we bring our own personal prayers of gratitude and want and need, let's also keep in our hearts and minds our prayers, not only for Israel, but for all people in the region, that all people should go to bed at night in peace, without fear, and a greater sense of security and hope for tomorrow. And so it's appropriate that tonight Cantor will lead us in singing Shalom Aleichem, Peace be unto you and to all people. Let's begin on page 24 as we might join in singing. Shalom Aleichem, Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharit, Malachi Elion, Mi We turn now in our prayer book to page two and three. And as we do, it's a pleasure to invite Dorothy Hirsch to lead us in the blessing over the Sabbath lights. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As the brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light.
Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. We continue now with our call to worship Baruch Hu on page 146. Please rise. Responsively, Adonai, your majesty is proclaimed by the marvels of earth and sky. Sun, moon, and stars testify to your power and wisdom. Day follows day in endless succession, and the years vanish, but your sovereignty endures. Though all things pass, let not your glory depart from us. Help us to become co-workers with you and endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. Baruch Ata Adonai Hamariv Aravim. We continue responsively. In each age we receive and transmit Torah. At each moment we are addressed by the world. In each age we are challenged by our ancient teaching. At each moment we stand face to face with truth. In each age we add our wisdom to that which has gone before. At each moment the knowing heart is filled with wonder. In each age, the children of Torah become its builders and seek to set the world firm on a foundation of truth. Baruch Ata Adonai Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai We read together on page 150. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. Take to heart these instructions with which I charge you this day. Impress them upon your children. Recite them when you stay at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you get up. Bind them as a sign on your hand and let them serve as a symbol on your forehead. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Thus you shall remember to observe all my commandments and to be holy to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai, your God. Adonai Eloheichem Emet. We read responsively. We worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. 
Yet that oneness eludes our grasp, as imperfection and evil abound. Before our eyes there is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. There is evil enough to break the heart, and there is good enough to exalt the soul. When will redemption come? When we grant everyone what we claim for ourselves. Long ago we escaped the tyranny of Egypt. Our people saw the power of the Most High. We learned God's presence redeems time and event, so we celebrate this power that makes for freedom. Give us a place to rest, O God. Shelter us in the long, soft evening shadows of your truth. You are true protection and safety. In your presence, we find love and acceptance. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch Ata Adonai Hapu Sukat Shalom Alenu Ve Al Kolamo Yisrael Ve Al Yerushalayim.
together. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. We turn to page 155 and 156 as we rise for Hot Tefillah. Adonai sefetai tiftach ufia gitehilatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohe Avotinu Vimoteinu, Elohe Avraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Vanorah, El Eyon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vikone Hakol, Vizoher Haste Avot Ve Imahot, Ume Vigula Liv Nevenehem, Leman Shimo Beava, Melech Hoseher Umoshia Umagain, Baruch Ata Adonai, Magin Avraham, Vizrat Sarah. Page 157, responsively. We pray that we might know before whom we stand, the power whose gift is life, who quickens those who've forgotten how to live, having implanted within us an eternal spirit. We, we pray, pray for, for winds to disperse the air of sadness, for rains to make parched hopes rise again. We pray for love to encompass us for no reason save that we are human, that we may blossom into persons who have gained power over our own lives. We, we pray, pray to stand, stand upright, we've fallen, to be healed, we suffers. We pray to break the bonds that keep us from the world of beauty. We pray to be open to our own true selves. We pray that we may walk in a garden of purpose, in touch with the power of the world. Praise be the God whose gift is life, whose cleansing reigns let parched men and women rise again. Baruch atarunai mechaye hako. Atar kadosh v'shimcha kadosh v'gadoshim v'chol yom yihalalucha selah. Baruch HaTadonai HaEl HaKadosh You are holy, your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the Holy God. Please be seated. <clears throat> page 160, we read together near the bottom of the page. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may we all live in such a way that this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Adonai Mikadesh HaShabbat. Be gracious Adonai our God to your people Israel and receive our prayers with love. Oh, may our worship always be acceptable to you. Fill us with the knowledge that you are near to all who seek you in truth. Page 163, responsively. For the good in us, which calls us to a better life, we give thanks. For the, for the strength, strength to improve the world, the world with, with our, our hearts, hearts and, and our hands, hands we <laughs> offer praise. For the desire in us which leads us to work for peace, we are grateful. For, for life and nature, harmony, harmony and beauty, for, for the, the hope, hope of tomorrow, tomorrow, all praise to the source of being. For all these things, O Sovereign, let your name be forever praised and blessed. 
O God, our Redeemer and Helper, let all who live affirm you and praise your name in truth. Blessed are you, Adonai. Your name is goodness, and you are worthy of thanksgiving. Baruch atah Adonai. Atov shimcha olacha na'eh lehodot. And as we turn the page, we come to our prayer for peace. It's called Shalom Rav, not just peace, but a great peace, the kind of peace that we truly yearn to pray and will be for us and for all people. In English, we read together. <coughs> Grant us peace, peace, your most, most precious, precious gift, O eternal, eternal source, source of peace, peace and give, give us, us the, the will, will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of our world. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, Adonai, who blesses your people with peace. Baruch atah Adonai, hamevarech atamo Yisrael, ba'ashalom. moment now for silent prayer.
in our prayers this Shabbat. We include our hope that those who are very dear to us are enjoying a recovery of body, mind, and spirit, whether they're recuperating in the hospital or at home or anywhere around the world this night, especially in our congregational family. We're thinking of Glenda Kirschbaum, Kay Kraus, Ivan Schulman, Karen Rocklin, Judy Abrams, Carol Friedman, Jack Selber, Nori Gaber, Joyce Horn, Kay Kleiner. For them and for all who are dear to us in our family and circle of friends, we share now our prayer for healing it can be found on the backside of your Friday night guide called Heal Us Now. Please join us. Adonai Bene Rafe Hoshi This night we have an added joy, not only to celebrate the gift of life on Shabbat, but also the blessing of marriage. We call in quinquennial anniversaries the multiple of five years of marriage, and we've invited those couples whose weddings took place in the month of May. It's quite a month for marriages. 
And so as I call your name, if you are here and present, please stand where you are so we may acknowledge you. And if you're at home, ready with a glass of champagne nearby, I hope that you too will embrace or stand where you are so we can share these words and blessings as well. Celebrating five years of marriage, Valerie and Mark Davis, Courtney and John Young. Celebrating 10 years, Tara and Joseph Gassett, Rebecca and Jeffrey Tappick, Valerie and Blake Shanzer, Daphna and Jorge Zuniga. Celebrating 15 years, Shannon and Gary Margolis, Laura and William Jeffrey, Anne and Scott Golan Turnick, Becca and Troy Hector. Celebrating 25 years, Amanda and Ronald Caress. Celebrating 30 years, Teresa and Michael Swigenberg, Nadia and Kevin Colby, Rachel and Pascal Olagnon. <laughs> so glad you're here. Celebrating 35 years, Jen and Rick Overton, Tony and Walter Finger, Catherine and Randolph Weil, Sharon and Butch Reichstein, and celebrating 40 years, Ellen and Steve Robinson. And if you're keeping score at home, 405 years of marriage are celebrated this month. Would you rise where you are so we can take special note? Even as I share these words with everyone, I want to be sure to look at you and to appreciate that you've come here tonight. Mekor Ahava, source of all love, how grateful we are that the blessing of marriage has enabled these couples not only to find each other, and to unite their hearts under the chuppah for all the years that they would know, but also to bless them along the way, that their joys would be sweetened and heightened because they found in each other's company their basherta, their intended one. And even when there were challenges because life is filled with them too as we come to know, they found in each other's presence the one they needed to be with in order to go around or over those challenges and find their way again to joy once more. And as their children and their family expanded, they found that the blessings could not have even been imagined if they were asked what would they possibly be. They are that sweet, that special, that they wish now that this blessing will go with them for years to come, that they will come again for their quinquennial anniversary to celebrate love and marriage always. And so first we say, Baruch Atarunai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shechianu Vikiyamanu Vihigiyanu Lazman Hazeh. Blessed are you, eternal our God, ruler and spirit of the universe, who has kept us in life and sustained us and permitted us to reach this special time of joy. And to all our couples, some of whom I stood under the chuppah with to exchange this blessing, but not with all, we say, May God bless you and protect you. May God's countenance shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God grant you all that you wish for yourselves and your families and friends with you. May it always be long life, good health, much love, and the greatest blessing of all, years of peace. As we say, Amen. Mazel tov. And mazel tov to all of you. Earlier this week, we observed and celebrated our final pilgrimage festival of the calendar year known as Shavuot. Shavuot means weeks. It's celebrated after Passover, marking the exodus from Egypt to the ultimate arrival of our ancestors at Mount Sinai when they received Torah. 
Shavuot commemorates Zman Matan Torah Tenu, the season of our gift of Torah. It helps us reflect on the continuous treasures of revelation, the Ten Commandments that form the foundation of our faith. These significant statements were received by our ancestors who made the commitment that they would also be followed well into the future. Today, these teachings serve as our moral imperative, both as individuals and as a community. Beyond the Ten Commandments, Torah itself is full of meaningful words, phrases, and stories. Each section is significant, and every letter must be examined from many perspectives. While the written words are important, it's the interpretation and discussion of Torah that has sustained us as a people. From our ancestors until today, there has never been an experience or situation when we haven't looked to Torah for support and guidance. Here's where the real treasure lies, in our ability to interpret and embrace the teachings and bring them into our lives in a meaningful and relevant way. These are the ongoing and continuous gifts of Torah. We might ask, is it authentic for us to shape the words to fit our modern lives? How do we know if we've gone too far? A beautiful midrash helps us understand it in this way. As Moses stood on Mount Sinai, he asked why some of the letters in the Torah were decorated with elaborate crowns. God replied and said, in time, a great sage named Akiva will arise and he will be able to interpret the words and the crowns, giving greater understanding to the laws and teachings. Moses grew intrigued and eagerly wanted to meet this sage. God asked Moses to turn around. There, from a distance, Moses took in and observed a beautiful setting. Rabbi Akiva was teaching an impressive group of young students who were hanging on to his every word. As hard as Moses tried to understand the conversation, he couldn't. He quickly grew upset and frustrated. He turned to God and said, how is it that I, the great leader and teacher, can't make sense of this lesson? At precisely that moment, Moses heard one of the young students ask of their teacher, how is it, Rabbi, that you understand the law this way? Akiva responded, it is because of what our leader and teacher Moses handed down to each of us that I am able to understand and interpret the words this way. In that moment, Moses realized the lesson that God had been trying to teach him all along. At the right time, when it was meant to be, the teachings of Torah would come alive for each generation to embrace as their very own. The evolution of Jewish tradition and practices is one of the most valuable aspects of our faith. It has sustained and nurtured us through both precious and difficult moments. As the rabbis teach, it is our obligation to continue and add to this important ongoing chain of tradition. We don't contribute in a static way. Rather, it's because of our creativity and innovation that we connect to our faith and to our people. It's incumbent upon us to carry forth the honor of this tradition. Even more so, it isn't intended to be a burden, but rather a great and meaningful responsibility. Sometimes we wrestle with the notion of calling ourselves the chosen people. We don't want to assume an elitist role in the world with little regard for others, but isn't that that isn't what we are chosen for. We have inherited a sacred gift that is ours to embrace, to hold, and to cherish. We must choose to live up to this challenge each day and through our most trying times. It's a responsibility that's ours to maintain and adjust to meet our needs. Our ancestors understood that change was inevitable in their own lifetimes, they witnessed tremendous shifts from slavery to freedom. The temple was destroyed and our ancestors had to reimagine Judaism. They believed in a future of better times. 
This vision is the legacy we've inherited. While our customs and practices have changed, Torah has always served as our continuous guide. Our portion for this week, Naso, comes from the book of Numbers. We read of a familiar and well-known prayer, that of the priestly benediction. In ancient times, the high priests were the only members of the community able to bless the Israelites in the name of God. Using specific and intentional language, the Kohen Gadol would raise his hands over the community and share this threefold benediction. Today, rabbis and cantors share this blessing as part of special occasions, the birth of a child, for a young person becoming a bar or bat mitzvah, and for a wedding couple. But true to our nature, the sacred words aren't only reserved for those who function as leaders of spiritual communities. This blessing is also offered by parents as part of their special words to their children on Shabbat evening. We reinterpret what was offered by a few select leaders and use these special words to invoke God's name in support of all of us. In three brief but moving verses, we say, May God bless us with the means to enjoy a full and meaningful life. In this context, we do pray for material wealth, not too much, but enough so that we can sustain ourselves and provide for all those in need. May God enlighten us to find our highest potential. In other words, may we be inspired by the divine to live our most sacred path as we are destined to do. Finally, may God's favor be granted to us for all that we hope for in our own lives. The ability to perform meets vote, good health, and ultimately peace. Here is where we also ask that God forgive our shortcomings that will inevitably happen. This sacred blessing is an opportunity to channel what God wishes to bestow on each of us because we are endowed with the spark of the divine presence. Jewish life and observance is about continuity, so we must adapt ancient rituals to fit our modern spiritual needs. If we don't, then they will be gone. These are the ongoing gifts that permit us to develop and shape our days in significant ways, always supported by an important and sacred foundation. Years from now, it's likely that our great-grandchildren may question our observance and wonder why we did things a certain way. And while they may not have the answers, they will be satisfied to know that we made Jewish living and celebrating a priority by staying connected to our faith and sharing sacred words of blessing. We are the inheritors and guardians of our faith now so that future generations will learn from us. We are all united. As we see the unfolding of a great future for the Israelites in the book of Numbers, May we continue to be inspired. Through ancient words, we relive the stories of our people and mold them for ourselves. We choose to participate actively in this sacred task. And as we do, we find the words we need to infuse our days with greater blessings, more healing, and much love. As together we all say, Amen. At this time, we invite Steve Hirsch to come forward as we prepare for Torah transmission. Please rise. As we take our place at the Holy Ark and in honor of your grandparents who are live streaming with us, we appreciate as Rabbi Scott helped us to understand that we unpack and reveal and turn the Torah teachings over again to be sure that what is anchored in the past becomes alive and real for us today. 
There isn't any better evidence of that than a young man who was prepared this weekend to become Bar Mitzvah. What a privilege it is now to take the Torah and its teachings and to pass it, as it were, from his grandparents and now to his parents and to this young man. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonenu Kadosh Shema Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adonenu Kadosh Shema And now in our prayer book, we turn to the bottom of page 282 and 287, and we join in Alein. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol, l'atit g'dula l'yotzeh b'rishit, sh'lo asanu k'goye ha'ratzot, v'lo samanu k'mishpechot ha'adama, Shelo sam chelkinu kahem, v'goralinu k'echol hamonam, v'anachnu korim, u'mishtachavim, u'modim, l'ifne melech malchei hamlachim, ha'kadosh baruch hu, v'neemar, v'hayadonai, In our prayer book, we continue on page 294. And as we turn to the page, we call to heart the memories of those who have gone from life to the peace of life eternal. And on this Shabbat, we remember their Yorzeit anniversary. As their name is called aloud, please rise where you are if you wish and at home and following the recitation of their names, will rise as a congregation to recite the words of Kaddish. Lovingly, we remember Karen Abramson, Catherine Alexander, Lena Aaron, Coleman Lee Becker, Edith Bell, Earl Bernstein, Bernie Rose Black, Marcus Brand, Mildred Breitenbach, Jacob Breslov, Paul Bronstein, Frida Brown, Ida Cernay, Jake Chapman, Benjamin Conwisher, Melissa Crawford, Benjamin Derevyansky, Helen Diesenberg, Robert Fleischer, Daniel Gavrilla, Fred Gerson, Sally Keel, Gail Goldberg, Harry Goldberg, Irving Gordon, Richard Gould, Louis Green, Eddie Greenberg, Sam Gross, Judith Hertzberg, Morris Holzban, Maria Del Carmen Jimenez, Jack Clayman, Eleanor Kretzer, Eva Layton, Max Meyer Lehman, Betty Lesser, Benjamin Levin, Alfred Aaron Levingston, William Lynn, Samuel Lyons, Ira Markle, Richard Marks, Aaron Messeroff, Dave Miller, Edna Osfeld, Harris Pessis, Israel Raiden, Oscar Ratnoff, Connor Resnick, Lois Rest, Isidore Robinson, Ruth Wolf, Ruth Rosen, Sidney S. Rosenblum, Goldie Ruszewski, Anne Molly Schachtel, Isidore Schaefer, Alicia Schmock, Isidore Schwartz, Doris Selinger, Harry Shapiro, Max Sheff, Morris Siegman, Edith Silver, Cliff Thomas Smith, Herbert Stein, 
Anne Stepansky, H. Ben Taub, Bella Tregobov, Herman Wisniak, Samuel Wortman, Alan M. Yaffa, Morris Zucker. In their memory and in their honor, we rise now together as we recite the words of Mourner's Kaddish. Yitgadal v'yitgadash shemei rabah, v'yamah divrachiru te v'yam lich nachu te, v'chai echon v'yam echon v'chai edecho v'et Yisrael, v'agalau v'izman kari v'imru, amen. Yehei shemei rabah mevarach le'alam l'amei amaya, Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitbar v'chomam v'yitnaseh, Vidadar vitale vitalal shmeir gurisha brihu, Leilam in kob irchata ve shirata, Tushpachata ve nechamata, Damiram bi amav imru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shamaya, Vichayim alenu vi alko Yisrael vimru amen. O se shalom vimromav, hu ya se shalom, Alenu vi alko Yisrael. Bimru, Amen. May the source of peace send peace to those who mourn and comfort to all the bereaved among us as together we say, Amen. As we have dealt with death as part of life, we continue with Kiddush to sanctify the Sabbath day with the sweetness of the wine and we're delighted to invite our Bar Mitzvah and his father to join him, please, for the blessing, we can join him on page five. The heaven and the earth were finished. In all their array on the seventh day, God finished the work that God had been doing. And God ceased on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy. Because on it, God ceased from all the work of creation that God had done. We therefore, we therefore raise the cup in thanksgiving. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri hagafen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher ki chanu b'mitvotav eratzavanu, Vishabat kocho b'yahava uvratzon hinchilanu, Zikaro l'masei v'reishit, Ki hu yom t'echila l'mikra'i kodesh, Zeicher l'tziyad mitzrayim, Ki vanu v'acharta, V'yotanu kidashta, Mikol hamim, B'shabad koshecha, Be'ahava uv'ratzon hinchaltanu. Baruch ata Adonai mekadesh ha-shabbat. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Rosalind Fuchs Hyken, and I serve as president of Beth Israel's Board of Trustees. Rabbi Sadaloff is currently leading our family Shabbat service in Levitt Hall. Mazel tov to Jacob Hirsch and his family on his bar mitzvah, and congratulations to all our couples celebrating their anniversaries tonight. Tomorrow at 8.30 a.m., you are invited to our lay-led Shabbat service online, followed by Torah study at 9.45. Torah study will be led this week by Rabbi Scott. To register for all our upcoming events, please log into your Shul Cloud account and visit the calendar page. 
you may register for all events and all in-person services. This Sunday begins our journey through Israel. Tour Israel on the comfort of your home on Sunday through Tuesday. We will be guided through the major cities led in cities in Israel led by our God, guide, Liana Rothstein. She will also help us understand more about the current conflict in Israel and her experience on the ground. There is no cost to participate and the trip will take place each day from 11 a.m. to 12.30. Also this Sunday, from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m., the PJ Library and the Jewish Federation of Greater Houston will be hosting an interactive drive through celebrating PJ Library's 13th birthday in our parking lot. All families are welcome. The Beth Israel binge groups have begun to meet. Visit your Shul Cloud page to learn about the current eight groups and please sign up to participate. There is something for everyone of all ages and more groups will be added over the summer. If you are interested in learning more about binge, please contact us. To learn more about our congregation and all our exciting and upcoming programs, Please reach us tonight online, by phone, or on our website. Shabbat Shalom. As we continue to hope and pray for enduring peace in Israel and for all of its neighbors, we'll rise and join together in our closing song, Ose Shalom. The words, should you need them, can be found on page 343. Our God and God of all generations, we seek your presence now. We pray, God, that you will extend the blessing that all of us are worthy of, days to enjoy without fear, those that help us rest well, and most importantly, the lasting and enduring blessing of peace for us and for all of your creations everywhere. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.